So apparently they just revamped wolf armor. And uh, I'm going to test it. So I got myself a sharpness 5 netherite sword right here. I'm going to see how many times it takes to break the armor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hits. That's uh, that's all it takes. Huh. Yeah, honestly, that's pretty good for the fact that it's sharpness 5. Now, the question is, if I punch it, how many punches does it take to break? Six two punches, not too shabby. Now I'm gonna enchant this uh, piece of wolf armor with unbreaking three. This is something you can really only do in Java Edition's creative mode. mode. See, it's not something that can actually be done in survival. Uh, if we put it on, you can also see that it has actually no enchantment. And I kind of hope they do add this because it's actually kind of nice. Now let's uh, stab the wolf and see exactly how effective unbreaking three is. So I'm breaking through, you basically added four more hits that the wolf armor could take. Honestly, not bad. I am uh, curious what mending will do, though. So if I go over, give it to the wolf, and then kind of just get myself uh, experience, experience bottles. Nope, that's not how Java does it. Yeah, experience bottle. Okay, so if I just hit him a couple times. Okay. Can I just check now experience box? Does not look like it. It looks like the XP is just coming right back at me. Okay. Now if I if you grab shears, right, you should be able to take off the wolf armor. And yep, that does work. Okay. If I just chuck it on the ground, then I'm assuming it should work fine. And yep, does repair it. So you can't quite just repair it straight onto the armor but to be fair they have the armadillo shells which is their method for repairing so if we just hurt him a bit more it his armor a bit a little more crack and you can just give him armadillo shells and it will repair the armor so makes sense why they don't uh, exactly have mending working for it also neat thing about the wolf armor is you can dye it you can dye it just like leather armor where you can add in multiple colors uh, which is really nice Main thing that I'm gonna do with this is color differentiate my enchantments. So for the non enchantment, I'm just gonna go blue, and then for the enchanted one, I'm gonna go red. So if I shove these guys into the hole and stick a creeper in there, ah, uh, holy survive. Ah, oh, yeah, that did fine. Push them back together, and let's try another creeper. Two creepers, okay. Okay, let's see what another creeper does. Okay, so it takes three creeper blasts to blow up the normal uh, armadillo armor. What about four for the unbreaking? Okay, it is four for the unbreaking version. Oh, well, that's cool. Good enough. Now, let's test the classic lava test. This is our baseline wolf with uh, no armor. How long will you survive? Now let's see if Mojang has helped the whole fall damage issue where, yeah, no, wolves usually die from high heights. Let's see if the armor will help that. We're just going to have this little pole. And uh, if we just kind of shove off this guy. And yeah. As you can see, he took very little damage to his armor. Of course, this is the unbreaking one, so that kind of adds up. If we spawn in a nether wolf up here and give it just, you know, standard old armor and push it off, then we should see... Oh yeah, definitely a lot more damage between the two of those. 
So, it definitely helps with the fall damage, which, I mean, that's kind of neat. I am curious, though, if from a higher height, what would happen to the wolf. So, I'm up at uh, build height right now, and I've just, you know, armor it up with, you know, basic armor. And, uh, again, as you can see, yep, it is build height. So, if we shove him off from here, what will happen to the wolf? I kind of wonder. Oh, okay, so the armor actually takes all the impact, and he doesn't even get hurt. So you could just, like, fall from the sky with armor on and be perfectly fine. That's crazy. Now, I did go through and try a ton of enchantments, and I couldn't really find any that actually did much of anything. But uh, thorns is definitely, definitely one of them. So, obviously with thorns, it kind of works like any other armor, where you just take extra damage for attacking back. I, I like this a lot, honestly, and kind of hope that if they do allow us to enchant armor, that we'll be able to do thorns that I'm breaking. Because between the two, I think it is honestly really cool. Now, the ultimate piece of wolf armor would technically be one with mending, unbreaking three, and thorns three. I highly doubt that Mojang would actually add a mending just because you can repair with the armadillo shells. But uh, unbreaking, I feel like, is actually something they should just genuinely add as a normal thing. And I feel like they should definitely have thorns come along with that. I mean, it's like the extra step and a lot of stuff for a very breakable piece of armor. But I mean, for a person like me where I fight with wolves sometimes with people and players, uh, it'd be really nice to be able to get that extra little uh, help to keep my wolf alive. So, yeah, honestly, it's a much better version of the wolf armor than the last version. The last version was laughable at best. It really didn't do anything. This actually being able to take the damage, I think, is a way better way to do the armor. I honestly kind of uh, wish, though, that you could naturally, of course, um, enchant this. But, you know, maybe, the, maybe they'll add that. Because if they do, yeah, these are the two enchantments for sure. Super awesome. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. This was a very random video. I really just wanted to test out the wolf armor. And, uh, yeah, have a great day.